Hello YouTube, I got another shipment of metal in to make projects with. On my lathe there's Gibsoner made out of steel. This is one eighth by one quarter inch. Okay, the way that little gib is made is all they do is take the corners off. And at the point with all they do is just take the corners off. The guy did about a 30 seconds on here, then this corner. So it makes it kind of diagonal. I do not need a mill to do that. It's kind of just a free-handed thing. You take the corners off. This piece might be a little complicated. There's a piece on the lathe on the back. It's kind of a holder that goes up against to hold it down onto the bed. This is one inch by one quarter inch brass. Uh, C360 type of brass. Okay, this is for projects. Uh, one inch by half inch, two inch by half inch. I cannot tell you the type of aluminum. It's 6061. Then it has your T6511. Still learning this stuff. I uh, grabbed another piece of, ordered another piece of 12L14 or L144. It's 12L, yeah. 12L14 has the lead in it for making small stuff. This, I cannot tell you without looking for it in the description later. This is black nylon. But this has this molly type stuff in there. So you can make bushings out of it. So it's not like the white nylon. Now they make a higher price stuff. Acetyl Delron. Delrin. Uh, you go on their website, you'll find it. I hope that'll show up. Had another video. Okay, here is what they call the piece de resonance. I have no idea what this costs. I, I can't tell you something. This I know what costs. This costs 30 bucks. Not bragging, not complaining. This is called like your oiled bronze. There is oil in here. This stuff is made. I'll snap a couple pictures of this is made when they produce it. It's like ground bronze and it's pushed together with oil. This is a self-lubricating bushing material. I only need it to be three quarter inch diameter, but I figured I'd better order a big piece, even if I throw some away lathing it down. So I have to make a bushing one inch long. Even if I have to throw some away, okay, I still might want to make a bigger bushing someday. So that was the spendy part. That's for the 109 lathe. The back bushing, not the one on the chuck, but the one on the back where the gears go would be your back bushing. That's all it goes in there. I could have bought a bushing. I've seen different prices from $25 on up. Uh, you gotta buy the whole set for $50 some dollars. I'm gonna make my own. Now we have the satisfaction of doing it there. But. Real short video, just to show uh, stuff I got for upcoming projects this spring, summer. So I'll snap a couple pictures. I'll get a real good close up. This even came center drilled. This came ready to slap on the lathe. Nice of them, huh? Six and a half inch piece. Maybe there's a reason, so it fits both lathes. That's what I'm thinking. It came ready to slap in there and use. And this had to come clear out of California. The other stuff came over. This this took a little while longer. It only took not even three days to get this. This took uh, not quite a week, six days, because it had to come further. It came from a different warehouse, but it was no biggie. Uh, it's not like I was in a hurry needed it overnight. But thanks again for watching.